look like a mess. Oh, because your your bra's about to fall off. Is that a real gun? Can it shoot? I'm underneath the truck. They might kill me. Where is everybody? You know, my parents always told me you could be whatever you want. And then when I started this show, then they were like, that's not what we meant. What? I am crackhead Barney. Would you fuck me? Uh. Are you a dirty cop, Barry? You're in my way. Bitch, why are you pushing me? You have to mess with people's emotions. This life should not be easy. Ah. Do I consider myself to be a content creator or an influencer? Yeah, sure. I think my content is way more provocative than other people. God bless you. I'm white like you. Why are you running away? Maybe it's disgusting, but it makes you think at the end of the day. Have you ever gotten a girl pregnant? That's like your dick. I never, ever thought she's going to be like this. Like what? Yeah! I'm just trying to shoot a damn episode. I'm ready for whatever. Wait, what? Are you... What? No! Get the fuck out! This channel is very exhausting. It's mentally and physically and spiritually draining. Disgusting. You're a fake black bitch. Get up, you when she first was doing her street performances, she became sort of like a hero to a lot of people. To me, she's trying to shoot the moon right now. This is the life that she wants. You like my show? No, I don't like your show. You have to experience the chaos that lives in my brain. I want to fuck with your reality, because I want you to be as fucked up as I am. The crackhead, the crackhead Barney house. All of you guys have seen this shit in my videos. Like, you've seen this, you've seen my wigs. This is my Trump mask. The more damaged and worn out it gets, the better. You, I don't wash it. I am Crackhead Barney. I am the founder of my show named Crackhead Barney and Friends. I am famous for being a disruptor and provocateur. So why are you against the vaccine? Uh, because, uh... What drug are you on today? Just marijuana. Are you a proud boy? It is 2021! I'm a proud girl! Hello! You look old to me. Oh, my God! You look old! Oh, honey! Does it make your pussy wet, the gun? Some days. The show, Crackhead Barney and Friends, is an interview show. Marjorie Taylor! Can we talk to you, Marjorie? No, 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 no. Why the fuck are you a Zionist, Andrew? Mayor de Blasio, how, how much black pussy do you eat every day? You can't be scared of a black girl with powder on her tits, Julie. It's like man on the street type of deal. And it's a prank show, too. Ah! Soon and very soon. The show came about was like this. During the pandemic, I would go to MAGA rallies alone and just record like these crazy interactions I had with these people. That's really why I went to the MAGA rallies. No one was outside during the pandemic. And people were there. Can you tell me what trash is? You. At MAGA rally, I would get the best shit. Get that they were so different. I'm like that looking, I don't act like that. Middle America, white people, like this loud, black, like demonic spirit coming to like interview them. Spiritual warfare, baby! For what? For who? For God? It's instant like kismet, chemistry. We started seeing like the followers come in, the comments, people liking the show. And other like big creators were sharing. And Eric Andre follows the page. We didn't expect it to be this big. But I was like, this is it. I'm gonna have to do this forever. The abortion is a right rally. The content that I'm gonna get here is from my Instagram page. The right, they come here and harass abortion, people that wanna get abortions, and we're just gonna antagonize the shit out of them and piss them the fuck off. Why are you here today? Can we talk, why are you here today? Can we, can we, can we talk to you? Any rally that I don't belong in, I'm going to. I like things that I'm opposite of. When I go to rallies, I want to hype up like my blackness, femininity, non-religion. The things that they hate, you want to like amp it up like 1,000%. I just want to ask some questions. Can we just move? Do you want to fuck? What? You want to fuck? Can we just move? I like the confrontation. I want that reaction. The worse, the better, because that's what makes good TV. Have you ever gotten a girl pregnant? Have you ever gotten a girl pregnant? Have you ever gotten anyone pregnant? That's like your dick. I won't get pregnant. They said don't go behind the barricade. Well, I'm not. I'm under the barricade. Any um, direction? I ran out of ideas. Who the fuck says something? Am I playing a character when I'm in the show? I do I definitely act like a more amplified version of myself. So there is no in character and out of character. Jacob always says, like, I'm not even acting. He's like, you're just being yourself on camera. My name is Jacob Cohen. 
I uh, do all the shooting and the editing for uh, Crack It, Barney and Friends. Uh, I've known Barney since, I think, the end of 2011. The Barney that you see in the show and, like, the Barney herself are very similar. She always says that she is herself when she's in costume, you know? It's like she feels more like herself when she's performing than she does when she's not performing. Why not? Her personality is so big that it's like she has a lot of difficulty navigating certain spaces where you need to be subdued. Because like I feel like she feels like she's so attacked all the time from all angles, like at work, at home, in the street, or like, you know, people always giving her a hard time. What do crack wars look like? Just like you. Just because of who she is. She's so outspoken. Disgusting. You're a fake black bitch. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah! You know, it's like she always felt like when she's performing, nobody could tell her what she's doing is wrong. You remember this picture? Yeah, I remember I was in sixth grade. I wanted to look like brandy, so I mm. put braids. You look so normal. I want you to be like this now. OK, too bad. It's not going to happen. I'm really close with my family. I talk to my sisters and my brother and my mom. My parents are from northern Nigeria. Strict Muslim African parents, very dramatic, very emotional. Like, I remember I was a physical education teacher at an Islamic school, and I got fired that year because the students saw like my photo online. And then my mom was like, we found out why you lost your job. It's because you're like naked online. And it's still bothering me. This is my mother, my lovely, beloved mother. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> oh, but don't say my name. Oh, oh, hi. Say Barney. Hi, Barney. <laughs> Do you like my show? No, I don't like your show. I don't watch your show. I, I sometimes found the stuff in the um, YouTube. I was so surprised. I want you to put more clothes on, that's it. Oh my God, why are you telling people that? Because it's the right thing to do. I don't see anybody doing what you are doing. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I am really embarrassed <laughs> about that. Oh my God. And you should see her when she was growing up. Oh, God. She had a hijab. She went to Islamic oh. school. Their father, you know, was very strict. So if he's alive, I don't know. To see her like this? He knew I did art. Yeah, but you took the art to the whole new level. Isn't that a good thing? It's good. See? I just want you to put clothes on. She's so jealous. Before Crack Hit Barney and Friends, I was doing performance art for over 10 years. I was doing a lot of street performance in the subway and in the street. Come on, everyone. When she first was doing her street performances, she was like really like punk style performance artist, you know? She didn't give no fucks. I actually saw my friends in a lot of galleries, openings and stuff. That's what made me so jealous because I was not getting any of those gallery gigs. I was not getting any museum invitations. So I was like, you know, I'll go to the streets, fuck everybody. So I just had to punish people by being outrageous because nobody was accepting of me. You see, that's the thing. I just had to like shove it down everyone's throat till they accepted it. I made a choice. I was like, you know what? My performance, our career isn't going anywhere. So I was like, you know what? Let me use Instagram to like, you know, further my career. When I was thinking of an Instagram name, I thought of all the names, and I'm like, what's the name that will stick out that people would like remember? So I was like, oh, let me use Crackhead Barney. There was a significance in using Crackhead because like, you know how they call black females crackheads? It's like owning this derogatory term. It's a play. Remember, you have to mess with people's emotions. This life should not be easy. My fans love me. They usually like make posters or like they send me drawings of me and myself. You have to actually get used to being loved. It is so weird, because no one ever liked my art. She dealt with so much rejection that I think that when she switched to the online platform and she started to get like uh, acceptance or like started to find a niche, she really felt empowered by that, you know, because it's like the first time in her life where she ever had an audience that really appreciated what she was doing. I appreciate your performance art. Now you're suppo supporting my performance art career. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, we're just doing portrait. Okay. What's your name? Hi, Tiffany. I nice to meet you. you. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, thank you. You wait, more funny shit coming. Okay, good. Now I care so much about Instagram and performing for viewers that I perform for Instagram rather than just perform just to perform. Now I feel like I have to post on every name, post every day, make some type of hype, do something crazy. This channel is very exhausting. It's mentally and physically and spiritually draining. Everything. Can you tell me what you're shooting today? All right, what are we shooting today? Um, we're shooting the no pants underwear ride. So people are like in their underwear. In their underwear. 
I'm gonna be, I have an outfit. I'm gonna be a cow, so I have like nipple, I have udders. So that's what we're filming. So come to the subway ride, it's at four, Broadway Junction, come, come, come. You know, sometimes when I'm stressed out, I like to shave my fucking head. I'm baptizing myself. How do I look now? I like it. Like trash? Mm hmm Okay, good. This is a cow outfit, and I'm just stuffing it inside. I'm making, like, exaggerated titties. So I'm gonna make myself white. Oh, God, I'm really getting white. I don't want to look normal. I'm just trying to shoot a damn episode. We have no permit or no nothing? Yeah, we don't have permit. Fuck a permit. I'm ready for whatever. You like what you see? I'm on my way. I'll be there. What do you think about my outfit? It's cute. What do you, what do you like about Fire, it? Fire, everything. Oh, what? Well, you like the titties? No, I can't say that. Oh, OK. No, they're moving too fast. We got the blocky traffic. You guys got to move. This way. Stop. We need everyone back. I knew they were going to start getting moved. We're not blocking. Yes, we're not blocking. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, we gotta leave my chest. Hold on one second. Let's go. Let's go. We're in. Let's go. Bye. Wait, what? Are you? What? No! Get the fuck out of here! No! No! I didn't do shit. Stop hurting her. Be calm. Be calm. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. It was really like a completely unnecessary arrest. Free crackhead Barney! Free crackhead Barney! She's been arrested a couple of times for performing. She got all those charges dropped. So hopefully this will be get dropped too. I'm very curious what she's being charged with right now. I'm going downtown Brooklyn. I have to go see a judge. Can you believe this fucking bullshit for dressing up as a fucking cow? I'll be there when you get out. We love you, Barney! Right now, we're just reviewing footage from when Barney got arrested. We're not blocking. Bye. Bye. Nobody's blocking. Bye. OK, you're leaving. They're just escorting you out. And then he just decides to grab you. My name is Ali Abbas. I serve as Barney's researcher, her writer, her producer, a little bit of her manager in terms of her scheduling. I started off as a fan. Um, I was a huge fan of hers in 2020 when I first saw her on Instagram and TikTok, and I became a, a believer in Barney. As far as labels go, I think Barney is an artist, like a capital A artist. I think she definitely shows you where the margins are for like black women comedians and what you are and aren't allowed to do. I think there's a lot of comedians that sort of do what she does and they go on to get development deals and, they go, and Barney like gets arrested. <laughs> I think this is the fourth arrest or three. This is the worst though. The other ones were bullshit. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. So I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh. I'm leaving. You're under I'm arrest. I'm leaving. Barney, I'm gonna come find you, all right? All right, all right? Who wants to spend a night in jail? It's terrible. To me, it's not funny. It's not like good content. To me, it's disgusting. It's like trauma porn. It's more better content when we are victorious, you know, rather than being like just stomped on and beaten up. I was so heartbroken in the cell. So it was a failure in that sense, but success in footage. The No Pants Ride was an unexpected success in terms of like, we captured a lot of the heart of the type of content Barney does. Her followers went up. Yeah. yeah, my followers went up, but whatever, at the expense of my freedom. I think Barney has gotten arrested at some point shooting the show. How do you feel about that? I don't know anything about that. I don't want her to get arrested because I don't want her to have a record. That's no good. Now I'm starting to think of my personal safety because of acquiring like an arrest record. I don't want that. So I was thinking like maybe I should delete my Instagram for a minute because if I want longevity in this, you can't keep getting arrested. I feel like people are willing to get way more aggressive with Barney. You're dressed like a fucking suicide Palestinian bomber. What? She's seen as like a threat, a sexual object, a whore, and a virgin like all at the same time. I guess I do get concerned about my personal safety, but not, in, not to the point where I have to stop. So I have to like be careful. People online are always trying to dox Barney. She's been able to keep her identity a secret, but I don't want it to take a psychic toll on her over time. That's why it's worth protecting her identity as much as possible to like at least give her some rest. I blocked all the people that wrote nasty shit. Burn in hell, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. You're fucking racist, you're disgusting. I had to block them. 
because I can't have that shit on my page. Barney does not give no fucks about rejection and like confrontation. She feeds off that energy. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! I want to abort my baby. John Lennon got killed for saying the Beatles are more popular than Jesus, you know, and she's out there slamming the cross against the fucking barriers outside of Planned Parenthood, and maybe we should, like, make fun of a different group for a little while, let the Christians calm down a little bit. You're hanging from the trees. It's completely dangerous. It's not really our goal to, like, get anybody hurt, you know? As a mother and as a believer, you always have hope for your child to change, you understand? She's a very good person, you understand? She doesn't have a mean born in her body. Oh, really? She's a kind daughter, she's a giver, she's a hard worker. I am very proud of how she's educated, but the only problem I have is her behavior or her art business. Am I successful in what I do? <sighs> That's a hard question. Yes and no. Yes in getting the reaction, no, because we're not making money. Barney is the first person that I've worked with who I like really believe in. Online, she can crush it. I mean, we know that she can pull in, you know, quarter million viewership very, very easily. There's a huge gap between online, uh, TikTok views, and then payment. The day that ABC and NBC and the common networks are ready for Barney is like the day that you know we're in a better America. I feel like Crackhead Barney is all in on Crackhead Barney, you know, because she feels that she is close. Like, that's what she's hoping for is that she can break through from this, like, underground nobody status to being somebody. And I think to her, like, this is kind of like a way out of, like, a normal life, you know? Having to be trapped, toning herself down to be in, exist in any space where she could actually, you know, exist. To me, she's trying to shoot the moon right now. This is the life that she wants. I don't want to be on my deathbed being shoulda, woulda, coulda. You want to be like, yo, I did all everything that I needed to do. Even if I did fail, at least I did exactly what I wanted to do. I want to die as a performer. There's no end. Fuck it, pregnant, baby, fuck a man, fuck all that bullshit. Even with the baby, I'll perform with the baby. Fuck the baby. I want this episode to fuck with your reality. You have to experience the chaos that lives in my brain because I want you to be as fucked up as I am. Hope that answers the question.